Welcome back to The Wasteland, my friends. In today's video, I'm gonna go over five more tips to help you out in your playthrough of Fallout Shelter. Tip number one is gonna be always do your little side quests. I'm not really sure what they're called, but when you're in your vault, you'll get this little notification. It's like a circle and it's got um, rivets along and it has a map and it's like, um, someone found this place, do you wish to enter? And it's got like radio noises. Always enter, guys. Unless you're you're afraid of your dweller dying, then I guess you don't have to enter. But I would always recommend entering. And I'm just going to show you why right now. So, um, I entered... They found a Super Duper Mart, and so I decided to go in. Um, let's just see what I get. I killed some minor rad roaches, and we'll see what the reward is. Three stim packs and 2,000 caps. Already worth it. And a legendary weapon recipe. Okay, that that's... Honestly, to me, that's enough said. That's just proof that that's an amazing thing to do. You should always answer these. No matter how busy you think you are in your vault, I would just always answer them. And then we'll, we'll see how hard the enemies are. Alright. Amy Stewart, she has a plasma rifle, 17 to 18 damage, and it's not killing a rad roach. So... The enemies will be tough, remember that. But as you've seen, I got like three stim packs. I have 26 stim packs. I think she's been out here for 16 hours. And so, obviously, I always send them out at, with max stim packs and rataways. So, the fact that she has more stim packs than she left with is just proof that you should be able to do it. Because you'll find ample amounts of stim packs. And I bet you I'll find more stim packs right now. Oh, rataways. Let's go. This place is haunted, guys. That's not good. Wait, don't shoot. This is just the costume. We were making an amateur film, a hor an amateur horror film, when these roaches showed up. My crew just ran away and left me here. Disappointing. At least we'll have some cool footage. You could always join our vault. We value loyalty. Let's do that. Wow, that's a great offer. Thanks. I'll do it. All right, so I just got, look at this, three quantums, uh, a rare weapon, it's a garbage rare weapon, but it's a rare weapon nonetheless, and I got a dweller. Let's just see what we got total. 1,900 caps, West England, England, a legendary weapon recipe, and a rare weapon, and three quantums. Always worth it in my opinion, guys. Now let's get back to the vault. Welcome back to the vault. Now, I'm going to go over the next four tips. Tip number two, fill your rooms. Okay, so we're just going to go right here, and we'll see that this is an empty room for the most part. It's going to take around five minutes to get myself some power with just one person in here. Now, the exact same room with, a, let's see how many more people, with five out of six people is going to take me... Let's, let's rush it, or actually, let's just wait a little bit, and then we'll rush this one. Let's see how long. The rush is 10%. Five minutes and 40 seconds. Get 85 power with one person manning this room. But with five people manning the exact same room, you'll get power within around a minute. A minute, 10 seconds to be exact, but yeah, that's the difference. Five minutes, and I believe... 40 seconds compared to 1 minute and 10 seconds. Far better to man your rooms completely. Have as much dwellers in one room as possible because this is an ineffective way to do it. In fact, I should probably just move this person over here, but I just want as much power as possible. Um, well, from last video, we know not to let these people get away with it, so we're going we're gonna to fight them, and then I'll get back to you guys after these raiders are dealt with. Alrighty, raiders have been dealt with and all of their items sold for profit. So they tried to raid us and we ended up making a profit off of them. That's kind of sad. Anyways, I'll, as I was saying, um, tip number two is fill your rooms. That way you can have the maximum amount of efficiency when collecting resources. Now let's go on to tip number three. Build lots of storage. Now if you have a raider attack like I just did and you want to keep that loot, you're going to need a lot of storage. As you can see, on most of my right-hand side, I have lots of warehouses. Now, 
when I'm done maximizing this vault and then having it at my peak efficiency, when I completely upgrade it to the max, every single side right here, except for probably this warehouse or the salon and probably the overseer room, they will all be storage because storage is so helpful. It helps you keep weapons, outfits, junk, and pets. Now you're gonna need lots of junk for crafting weapons and uh, armor. Now you're gonna need to store your weapons in case you like to collect like I do. Because I don't wanna sell these legendary items. They, they're useless, but they're cool to me. Um, over here I got rusty laser pistols. I'm just saving those because they're like, they're like decent loot for what I have so far. So I'm just saving them. And then same with these outfits. A lot of my dwellers are training, so I don't know what they're gonna need to wear when they're done with training and they actually get to their jobs. So I'm just saving all these outfits for when my dwellers are ready to use them. And I believe that you're going to need lots of storage so you can do the same. Now let's go right over ne to next tip, which would be tip number four. Um, this tip, I'm not sure if you guys agree with me, but I think you will after I show you. Now this tip is upgrading isn't always good. This might sound might sound whack, might sound unbelievable at first, but let's let's just see how useful this is. I spent 18 grand and all I get is production plus nine. Not not big, not a whole lot. Um, it's definitely definitely an improvement, definitely an improvement to storage, right? And that might be good. It might be worth spinning your caps on, but to me, it's just not quite there. I'd rather just build another room. But Maybe that is worth it to you guys. Maybe you are like, hey, that's actually not true. This is a wrong tip. Now this is where I'm gonna make you believe me. Right here, fitness studio. Let's go over to this dude in Roy Day. Okay, it's gonna take this guy five hours and 18 minutes to complete his training and level up one more point in endurance. Now let's upgrade this room because it says increases endurance training speed for 9,000 caps. So, like I said, let's zoom in and zoom back out. Five hours, 17 minutes. All right, remember Roy Day. We just upgraded the room for 9,000 caps. We'll see how much of an improvement. Five hours and four minutes. Now, I don't know how, but I think I forgot the time. No, 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 it was five hours, 17 minutes. So that was a 13 minute improval rate. To me, that's horrible. That's just absolutely garbage. I spent 9,000 caps for him to get quick um quit get done quicker by nine minutes that's that's useless nine minutes is not a difference that's that's literally a thousand caps a minute and hit in roy's case so i don't i don't recommend it guys let's see someone else 13 hours 26 minutes cheryl price Where's she at? 13 hours and 16 minutes i believe Okay, so it's a bit, it's a bit of a, it's a bit better, but it's still only by minutes, and honestly, it's not worth it to me at all. So that's, I'm only, I only upgraded it just to show you guys because to me, that is a worthless upgrade unless you're got, unless you got caps to spend and you just want your rooms to look cool. Which honestly, that's like the main reason I upgrade these weapon stations because it looks sick to have a weapon station upgraded. Like, look at this. This is a pretty sick weapon station, right? We got shooting and stuff. Look how much cooler that looks. That is just sick. We got all our weapons stored. I love that. So if you just want to upgrade it for aesthetic purposes, I ho I highly recommend it. That's what I do. Um, now let's go right over to tip number five, and that is going to be always level up your dwellers. So that might sound obvious. Yeah, leveling them up, of course. Why wouldn't I? It gives me caps. Okay, not only does it give you caps, it gives your dwellers HP. And what do you need HP for? Surviving attacks. That is amazing, okay? My, I had my two front guards here. I'm not sure if I ever showed you guys me getting raided on camera, but they originally had completely perfect stats, uh, Dragon Maw and a Fat Man, plus um, an alien drone pet that does four damage. These people would almost die at any attack, raiders, ghouls, anything. They're horrible. Now, that's because they were super low level, and I've just now sent them out into the wasteland so they can level up. Um, here's Amber Knight, level 21, she was 19. Oh, and then the other one is going to be level 10. 
and I just had to level them up because they just couldn't survive no matter what. And I, it was pissing me off. I couldn't really understand why. I was I was confused. I was like, they have perfect stats. I didn't really know what leveling up did until I released the first installment in this, um, the Fallout tips. And a lot of um, commenters, maybe you guys are watching this. Thank you guys so much for letting me know that. I can't remember the name off top, but thank you so much for letting me know. It really helps with the channel, helps me get ideas, and um, it actually helped me with my game. So that's that's another bonus. Thank you so much. So yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Level up your dwellers. Always do the side quests. Upgrading isn't always good. Fill your rooms and build lots of storage. If you noticed, I said that out of order because I just want it to stick in your head no matter what. It doesn't matter what particular order you follow these tips by. Just know that they're always good to help. They're always good for you and they, um, they're very helpful to me. And I hope you guys can find the same amount of usefulness as I find them. Um, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. May the wasteland treat you with peace and prosperity.